Hey guys! Welcome to Monster Energy Supercross, uh, the official video game from Milestone. So, yeah, let's just try this out and see if, um, yeah, if it's worth the money. So let's continue. A uh, single player career. Let's continue uh, my career that I've just started yesterday. And um, let's just start by saying that I'm not a, a fan, a real fan of uh, stadium events. Uh, but yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, I was eager to to try this this one out because. Um, as you know, Gravel is coming also from Milestone and it's based on the same technology. Um, yeah, so let's just uh, yeah, see if this game is, is um, better than MXGP Supercross was never my strong uh, yeah my strong side <laughs> so and what about you guys do you like this style of uh, stadium uh, uh, racing games of uh, stadium events all these bumps just um, makes us lose uh, too much speed but uh, yeah graphically this game is looking really awesome and it's just a a small taste of what gravel will be uh, I guess yeah I guess because uh, I, I pre-ordered gravel so it will arrive um, will arrive uh, sometime uh, around uh, the 27th 27th of, uh, of uh, February so as I said gravel is almost here two more weeks and uh, I will be able to get my hands on gravel that was supposed to be uh, released last year it was the first the first re release date was uh, August of 2017 um, so yeah this is a small taste of what gravel will be uh, in terms of uh, technology and um, this graphical richness of uh, of the terrain it, this, looks just awesome and beautiful this mud is really gorgeous I love off-road games so yeah mud and dirt and dust is uh, something that I I really like in a video game a racing game um, so a uh, after after gravel uh, gravel will be coming uh, on the 20th, uh, 27th of uh, February so and uh, a month later MX versus ATV all out will be also released on the 27th of March and I've pre-ordered that one too gravel uh, gravel uh, I pre-ordered gravel for the PC because I believe that the PC version will completely destroy the console ports. Um, but as for MX versus ATV uh, all out, I've pre-ordered the PS4 version because um, I believe there won't be much of a difference. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll, yeah, I will review those two later down the road. And uh, as you know, this year will also be 
will also have a, a Docker game, a new and uh, definitive Docker game uh, from a Portuguese studio. It's it's just about time we have a a decent um, a decent Docker game. So this went well. Yeah, let's try. Let's try. Let's continue uh, the career mode. Yeah, this game is looking really beautiful. Uh, yeah, the Unreal Engine is really showing all its potential in this game and in Gravel. I guess that Gravel will be a pretty awesome uh, smash hit and um, yeah we must welcome these 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 um, type of arcade racing games that um, have just been uh, uh, quite forgotten so angel angel stadium to anaheim let's go yeah I'm a true fan of the MX vs ATV Unleashed series uh, when Rainbow Rainbow Studios was um, was behind the development, uh, the original team that is, the original team of Rainbow Studios that later um, formed uh, to excel games to create Baja Edge of Control. Um, L the later games from the MX vs ATV Unleashed series, MX vs ATV, have been uh, quite uh, awkward and strange. Um, I don't know what to think about them, but that's that's something that I really want to cover in the future. Tell you the story of Rainbow Arts, uh, Rainbow Studios, that is. Rainbow Arts was a, a another company, a German German company that uh, published games for the Spectrum and the Amiga. Rainbow Studios was initially backed by uh, Microsoft uh, and brought awesome exclusives to, to PC, to Windows PCs. But um, we're not uh, we're not here to talk about MX versus ATV and Rainbow Studios. We're here to talk about Milestone and uh, and uh, this Supercross game. There, man, it, it looks really amazing. The, the the movement, the animation of the characters, the the, yeah, the bike, the suspension, uh, the mud, um, track deformation. This, all this looks really well done and uh, yeah again the Unreal Engine is something that uh, other publishers and uh, developers should take into consideration when when creating racing games yeah because uh, I believe that Gravel will be a really awesome game yeah Trying to get in front. Come on, come on. And that guy is just too quick for me, and I'm all over the place. Come on. These super cross tracks are not my my forte, you know. Because of all these bumps, we lose too much of our momentum and uh, grip. Yeah, if if we can't get the jump right, yeah, it's it's game over, you know. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, very easy. Come on, man. Um, uh, do I recommend this game? Yeah, for fans, you know, fans of uh, stadium events and stadium races. 
I know that Gravel will also have stadium events with uh, with trophy trucks. That will probably be the least favorite uh, type of race in, in Gravel. For me, at least. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, come on. Yeah. The guy in first, in first place is just uh, hanging in there. And I can, can't get to him. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Oh man, come on. Almost there. Oh. Crap. Final lap. Yeah, second place. Yeah, okay. Tell me your thoughts about this game. Uh, do you like what you saw? I'm not a real fan of these type of races and uh, game stadium stadium events. So it plays well. It controls well. It's gorgeous and um, it's a must for fans. Okay, so. Guys, thank you very much for watching this, yeah, this first play of the Supercross, the video game. Um, yeah, and I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers!